So did you know there are only actually three causes of chronic insomnia? And all three of them can be addressed without sleeping pills using cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia techniques, CBTI techniques. I'm going to be talking about these three factors today. Hi, I'm Martin Reed from insomniacoach.com. I help people with insomnia improve their sleep so they can live happier, healthier lives. So although there can be an unlimited number of initial causes of sleep problems, by the time they've perpetuated themselves into chronic insomnia, it's ultimately just down to three core factors. Now, the first one is homeostatic disruption. This is just a fancy way of saying, we're going to bed before we feel sleepy enough for sleep. So this is most easily addressed by making sure that you don't go to bed until you do feel sleepy. The next factor is circadian disruption. Now, this is just a fancy way of saying there's a disruption to our body's natural sleep-wake cycle. And this is usually caused by going to bed too early or staying in bed too late. And as a result, our body clock can't regulate itself and this makes healthy, predictable sleep far more difficult. And finally, the last factor is arousal. High levels of arousal can make sleep more difficult. Um, there can be cognitive arousal. So this is just related to your thoughts and worries about sleep or anything in your life that keeps your mind and brain active at night and prevents you from falling asleep. Then there's also conditioned arousal. So if you're regularly used to getting into bed and struggling to fall asleep and worrying and feeling frustrated, then you basically tr you've basically trained yourself to associate the bed with worry and anxiety instead of sleep. Um, this is not your fault. It's just completely natural that you would learn this association when that's been your experience for a certain period of time. The last one is still within arousal, you have this physiological arousal. Um, and this is just, for example, you might get into bed at night and suddenly your heart starts racing, you feel panicky, you feel all those fight or flight symptoms. And again, this is often down to a conditioned arousal. All of these issues, the high levels of arousal, um, the going to bed before you feel sleepy and the irregular sleep schedules, all of these factors that are perpetuating insomnia can be successfully addressed with a treatment of cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, CBTI. So I encourage you to learn more about CBTI, talk to your doctor about CBTI and talk to others about CBTI if you are really determined to take action and improve your sleep for the long term. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. I try to share a short two or three minute sleep snippet video every weekday. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, or if there's anything you'd like me to address in a future video, please leave a comment below or you can email me at hello at insomniacoach.com. And I hope to see you back here again soon.